it is time for my weekly whip and chat. So grab something that you would like to work on or simply listen and let's get started. Hello, I am Debbie the Crafty Diamond. I am going to be working on a diamond painting from Bella Art Diamonds and it is called Carousel Pony. This is one of the new releases from last weekend that Bella Art Diamonds um, released to uh, on their website. And I got this one as a sneak peek, so I'll be sure to post that underneath the description, the link. It is absolutely gorgeous. I also kitted this one up on my channel with you guys too, so you may have seen it then. I have gotten just this bottom section done, which really isn't a lot, but let me tell you, these diamonds are absolutely amazing. I just love how they click in place. They are some of the best drills that I have worked on in a really long time, especially for squares. And I am just really happy with this canvas. I like the dark colors. It is going to be a lot of pinks and blues and teals, and I am happy with that. I'm trying to get the camera adjusted just a little bit. I'm trying to do this before. It's kind of hard to tell until I can get started. Hopefully, if I get down to the bottom of this, you can see. I am going to be using my pin from an Abler's Outpost because it matches my canvas. I'm also going to be using a tray from Bella Art Day Nicole because I could have gotten another color um, instead of using orange, which really doesn't match with the canvas. But I have this one out, been using this one for a couple of other projects I've been working on. And I am kind of far away from this. I'm trying to make sure that my head's out of the way. I'm also using a trinket tray here. And this is from Angie's new shop. I will put the link to her shop below. It's a really nice tray. It also lights up, which I think is really cool. Because I haven't gotten a trinket tray that lights up. I love these trinket trays. So I do have my little trash tray there that also came with it. And I know that she was working on some new designs. So check her out as well. See if you're looking for a trinket tray. I use that to hold pins. Um, I will have cover minders. If I'm using one, um, I will put it there whenever I'm moving it around so that way I don't lose it. And I'm not using a cover minder right now. I don't really need to, but I have had a couple of cover minders up there because they are easy to lose on my desk. Anything on my desk is fair game to lose if I'm not careful because I have other stuff on there and it just seems to get lost, especially if the magnet somehow gets apart from my cover minder, then I am always frantically looking for it. And I like to have a couple of different pins. If I get tired of using one pin, um, like this one is really thin, it's perfect. But if I decide that I might need to go with a thicker pin at one point, or I just want to change it up a little bit, then I'll do that. And I also have a pin that does have a straightener on one end. And so I usually have that with me. I don't even need that for this canvas. So I didn't even bother with getting my other pin. So first of all, how is everybody doing? This is the start of a new year. This is actually my second whip and chat for the year already because I did one last week and it was on the second. It just happened to fall that way and I did record it on the first. So I cannot say that this one is my first of the year because last week was. But let me know how you guys are doing and what all you've been doing. Apparently, I hadn't done very much. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, what was I going to talk about on my whip and chat? And also, I was thinking, you know, what exactly has happened in my daily life 
that I haven't told you guys. So I started thinking back, started looking at my journal. I usually journal every day or every couple of days. And I looked and I thought, well, there's just nothing here really. So I worked last week, but I worked from home and I just had to get my classes set up because we did start back today. Today's Monday for me. And we started back today, so I did have to get my classes ready. I had a couple of meetings that I had to go to, and that was about it. So pretty much just was able to do things around the house. And I started thinking back, and I thought, okay, what did the family and I do last week? And I couldn't think of a blooming thing, not one thing. And so then I started thinking, okay, if I can't think of anything, I didn't really have to work that much. What exactly did I do last week? I came up with nothing, you guys. I mean, nothing. So I asked Paige, I said, what did we do last week? Did we do anything? And she said, we went to the store, we went to the bookstore. I'm like, yeah, okay, that did not take up all week. But we did go to the bookstore, we got some um, books, went to the library, and I did look through um, our library has what's called Libby. I think that a lot of other libraries um, subscribe to this too. So I went through, I was able to see any books that might interest me. And also I was looking more so for audible books, um, online books. And I found a couple of things. And then I do have a couple of credits left on audible. And so I thought, what do I want to listen to? So I like to listen to books. I'm, I'm doing more and more of that now since I've been diamond painting a lot. Listening to books. And I found a couple more. And so I did go ahead and get those. I finished one last week. And that was um, Iron Flame. So I finished that one. And I didn't realize how long that it was. It's like 600 and something pages. I think it was 14 hours or something. I listened to mine at one and a half the speed. Sometimes I can listen to it at um, two times the normal speed. But on that one, I just couldn't. So I went ahead and listened to that one um, all week. So that took up some time. I did quite a bit of diamond painting last week. Not as much as I was hoping but um, I had to make some cards, too, for my church, cards for soldiers that I want to have a box ready to go by March. So I did quite a few cards. I also went through some of my older things in my craft room and decided, am I really going to use this? Am I going to keep this? Am I going to go ahead and do something with it? And for the most part, I did get rid of some older stickers, but um, I kept all the stamps, but I put a little tab on my stamps and I'm going to keep them until next year or the end of this year. And then when I go to clean out my craft room again, if I have that tab on any of my stamps, then that's going to be an indication that I did not use that stamp all this year, and I'm probably not going to need it. And then I will make the decision of to sell this stamp or if I'm going to keep it. Because I have so many stamps, and a lot of them look very similar to each other, so I did spend quite a bit of time on that. I'm trying to get better organized in my craft room. So when I go to my craft room and I want to work on cars or a journal or whatever, I'm not just sitting and staring in space trying to decide what I want to use or that I have so much stuff that I'm almost over to the point of being overwhelmed. So that does tend to help me. And then also... Last year, really the past couple of years, I have not been happy with how I have been doing my memory keeping. We just don't do enough to do a daily memory keeping like I used to. 
because Paige isn't in school anymore. For the most part, she's home unless she is working. We don't really go anywhere to where I could take, you know, pictures of something different. And it just got to where it became just monotonous. I was taking more photos of our pets than I was of anything, and you know, which is okay. But then when I would go to put my memory pages together for the week, I just wasn't real crazy about it. And then I got to where I got behind and didn't really even care about getting caught up. So I've been thinking about what am I going to do where I can still keep it, I can still have fun documenting, but I don't have to worry about doing this every single week. If I get behind, then I'm going to have some blank pages. I didn't want that either. So I decided that I'm going to do possibly weekly, and I'm going to just keep a journal in a planner of anything that's happened. If there's something that I want to make sure that I remember, um, such as Night to Shine, which um, we will be going to in February. And if you're not familiar with Night to Shine, that is a special needs prom. And we have done this now, oh gosh, I don't even know how many years, numerous years, years and years. And so, my daughter absolutely loves it. That's one of her favorite things to do the entire year. So pretty much she gets everything that she wants for the entire year in one night, early part of the year. And we take quite a few pictures at night to shine. And so I could do, you know, a page here and there. And if I wanted to even put it in an album, I can do that. And I don't have to worry about weekly. And so I kept going back and forth, you know, is this going to be okay for me? How am I going to feel about this? Because I have been doing memory planning for, oh gosh, since the kids were born, basically. And then I stopped for just a short time, got back to it. It looks very different at the beginning. I did a lot of heavy scrapbooking. Now I'm definitely not doing that. So it has revolved over the years. And so I'm thinking... Give myself grace, and I am now just, I love diamond painting. I'd rather diamond paint than go through and do any of the other things that I used to do, and you know, that's okay. It's like the seasons change, and I love my cards. I'm not going to ever change that, but I don't need as much for cards as I do with all the memory planning so I am really looking forward to changing how I do that. See if I like it. I can still do whatever I want on certain pages, but I don't have to be concerned that I am missing a particular, you know, two days. Well, it's for a week, but it's a two page spread that I was doing using a happy planner. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. I did finally, for my diamond painting, I got to day 18, moving right along, day 18 on my, on my advent, my daily advent, the mystery one. So I am halfway through day 18, started that one a little while ago. And thought I really need to get some videos recorded because we've got something going on tonight at 645. So as soon as I pick up Paige from work and then we have to go to the store, I've got to finish doing some work for my job. And then we'll have dinner. And then by the time we do all of that, we'll have to leave here for about an hour or so. So I thought, I'm going to need to go ahead and get this done. I want it to go out on time. And I had another one that I was working on. So I stopped doing, I cannot see. I don't think I'm doing this straight. I stopped working on the diamond painting that I was working on because there's no way on that one. I can't do that. And 
to talk with you guys because I have to just sit and count. It's a um, converted cross stitch, but it's not like my massive cross stitch painting that I have been working on for a long time. This one is more of, it's paper. I'm not using Pattern Keeper or anything else. I am just using the paper, having to count it. It does not have the grid lines. I mean, it does, but the grid lines are not um, divided out. And so it takes me a really, really long time. So I thought, I'm not gonna be able to do that one. I'm gonna work on this one. I'm going to have to flip this because I'm having a terrible time. Let me see if I can flip this just a little bit where you guys can still see this section. Maybe if I do it like this, because I'm over on this side, and I, that's much better. I'm over on this side. I just cannot see. I do not want my head to be in the way. And it's going to have a little bit of a glare, but I do have the light on. I'm going to move this trinket tray over. This is much better. I could even start over on this side if I really wanted to. But I hate to start over here when I haven't finished this yet. Okay, let me get back to another color. This is much better. Where I don't feel like I'm leaning all the way in. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and open this one too. That way, I could use a cup of reminder. That way, you guys can see more of a space. Let me see if I can do something about this light where it's not right on where I'm working on. That is a little better. Okay, sorry about that. This will just be much easier for me, and then I'll get back to the other section, I think. Um, let's see. So that's really all I've been doing. I have spent quite a bit of time in my craft room. I'm trying to keep it to where I have different areas in my craft room for different crafts. So I pretty much reduce my crafts now to diamond painting, Bible journaling, some memory keeping, and then my card making and I have it in like sections so I know where everything is don't know how long it will stay that way my craft room tends to get a little on the messy side and then once it gets messy then I have a hard time doing anything so I have to stop and clean it I'm just one of those that I just have to I can't work around the mess I like it to be halfway neat anyway Let's see. It is a very cold, nasty day here today. We are supposed to get some heavy rain starting later this evening and going all day tomorrow. And unfortunately, Paige works tomorrow. So I'll have to take her to work. I work from home on Tuesdays. I'll have to get out. It won't be too bad just taking her and coming back and then going and picking her up. But then Wednesday, it's supposed to be okay. Today, when I got out this morning to take her, I could have sworn I felt ice that um, was in the rain. So I thought that I felt maybe some sleep mixed in, but the weather forecast wasn't calling for sleet or snow in our area. It is in the North Georgia mountains, but not here. But I could have sworn I felt mixed ice in with the rain. But it's not cold enough yet to stick, which is definitely a good thing. I wouldn't mind having a little bit of snow, but we get ice, and I cannot stand ice. I have a hard enough time walking on it, can't drive in it. People around here cannot drive in ice. And the city will shut down for days just for even a half an inch. I mean, it's pitiful. But 
I'd rather be inside, not have to get out anyway. So if we don't have school, that would be fine with me. I will just work from home. But other than that, really, it's just supposed to be just cold and rainy. So it's supposed to also rain next weekend, this upcoming weekend. It also rained this past weekend. So we can't really get out and do anything because it's just raining. So I did stay in and I should be finished. I'm hoping to be anyway, finished with my mystery cross stitch conversion by next Tuesday. So in a week, I should be finished. As long as I do one a day, which I, that's the first thing when I have time to dye and paint and I'm able to just stay in my craft room for a little bit, then I will work on that one to get one done, one section done a day. And I will show that one. It will be a video when I finish. And I will let you know at the very beginning that it is the mystery advent. So that way, no spoilers. If you don't want to see, you know, what it is, if you don't want to hear, you know, my comments on it, then you'll be warned. It has turned out really cute. I'm glad that I continued with it. But on the same time, I'll be glad when it's done so that I can actually work and spend time on my dime paintings. Because I have a lot of them that I really want to get finished. <laughs> okay, I'll stop for just a little bit because my neighbor is having their leaves blown. And so I stopped and then they stopped and I guess my neighbor did not think he did a good enough job and now the guy's coming back or maybe he left for lunch and just came back so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and continue hopefully it won't be too noisy and our heat just came on too and it is freezing so I cannot turn it down anymore for it not to come on I actually have a small space heater also in my craft room because I am in the basement and it is right next to me and it is not helping. I think we're gonna have to get a different heater for next year. I will just go ahead and the rest of this year, I will just grin and bear it. But I'm pretty sure that next year for my craft room, I'm gonna have to invest in something else. Because even when the heat comes on, it helps, but it's still not enough. Especially when it's as cold as it is today. And then in the summer, it is nice down here. I don't even have to have a fan or anything. It's nice and cool. That's the only downside about being in a basement. Well, not the only, it is one of the downsides. I do have a larger room because I have the basement area, which is nice. I like having a larger room, but it is colder down here. And I only have one small window. So I don't really have a lot of natural light that comes in, but it is what it is. I don't have much of a choice unless I just don't have a room, but I do love my craft room. So not complaining, just making a statement that sometimes it gets a little noisy. And then of course, Molly's down here. She has to make sure that I knew as if I could not hear that the guy, there was somebody next door and they were in the next door neighbor's yard and she knew it wasn't my next door neighbor and she didn't like it. So I guess in addition to my dog guarding our house, she guards our neighbor's house. I did order two of the new releases from Bella Art Diamonds. 
and I'm not in any hurry and I don't know how long it's gonna take for them to mail them, but I'm not in any hurry because I have plenty. I got the two that I really wanted. There was more than that, but I ordered two. And then Diamond Art Club had a release. I wasn't going to do it, but I have a lot of points. I'm afraid, I'm not careful, my points are going to expire. I let them sit and forget about them. So went ahead and I ordered one of the new releases that came out on Saturday by using my points. And I wasn't gonna do that either, but it's another really large one and I had to keep thinking about it. It's like, do you really want another large one to add to your stash? You need some smaller ones, but I liked it. And all the ones that I really, really like, they're the ones that are always large, it seems like. So I do have that one coming. I'll probably do an unboxing, I'm not sure when. I'll do an unboxing. I have two that I purchased from Jaded Gym Shop. I purchased them um, for Black Friday and they are not here yet. I mean, hers because they are so custom based on you know, how the buyer, I mean, or the seller, like what Jade will do is that she will give you a choice how you want it cropped or if you want it round or square the size. So you have some options. And because you have options, I think it just takes longer. And I am not unhappy with that because I really like Jade's renderings. I'm not in any hurry for anything to come in. But when those come in, I'll have more to unbox. I don't plan on starting those anytime soon. It may not even be this year. One is a cross stitch conversion. If I get the one I'm working on now finished, then I'll go ahead and start on another one. I do not want two cross stitch conversions at one time. Although when it comes in and I see it, I may change my mind. I am going to start back on my cross stitch conversion and also on the massive cross stitch conversion playlist that I do and that I have on Saturdays. I'm going to start that back in February. Give myself an extra month on that one. I might start a little bit earlier, but I'm not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. I didn't think I would finish my mystery canvas until the end of January. And so that's why I said I'll just start in February on my cross stitch conversion. So I don't wanna start on mine until that one's finished. But now I'm gonna be done next week. I may go ahead and start earlier on that one. I have missed it. I wasn't sure if I would, but I really have missed it. Looking forward to getting back to it, seeing how far I can get with it. I really want that one finished by the end of the year. I only have 70% left to go. So maybe I'll be able to get it finished. It would be nice. But I'm not in any hurry. I want to enjoy the process. And I'm not in any hurry on my diamond paintings either. Although there are so many that I want to do. And I'm going to refrain. I'm not going to have all of these whips going like I actually still do. What I've decided to do is I'm working on one whip that's in my stash that's already started from last year, maybe even prior years. I'm going to have one of those going and then I'm going to have a new kit. 
so I'm working on a on a square kit then I will choose a round kit that's in my stash because that way I will have a square and a round going and then I also will have a diamond painting going upstairs and that one right now is the um, snowman and I forgot what they call it it's a snowman from Francesca's snowman and tile that's what it is and I am about halfway finished with that one. I just work on that one at night if I am in the mood to work on a diamond painting while after dinner. A lot of times I'm just tired and I don't do it. But that one's turning out really cute. And it's around. And I'm loving that one. I mean, it's perfect because of our weather. It is just the perfect diamond painting to work on. Although I thought about doing something that was very summery to make me think that it was nice and warm out, but I figured that wouldn't work anyway. But I am just going to be cold. Let's see. So my diamond painting will slow down since work has officially started back. I'm also working work part-time for another school where I am a lead faculty there and I have to review other courses. So that one is something I haven't done there. So that's something new which will take me longer for a couple of semesters until I can really decide the best way that I want to do it and to keep up with it. And then in February, I have my event. So if you have any mini diamond paintings from Paint Gym that you would like to work on, then feel free. If you are a small business owner and you would be interested in sponsoring the event, I would love and be honored for you to do so. Right now we have three sponsors. And I'm so excited for that. And it's, it's just for one month. I think that will be fun. It is the first event that I have done without a co-host or without being a co-host. So this is going to be interesting as well for me doing for me doing the event by myself. But it's only with it only being a month, and also it's going to be a very laid back event. I think we're going to have a really good time. And if you have not joined in the Facebook group, I would love to have you. It is just in my Crafty Diamond Facebook group. You can join that group without being in the event. That is just my Facebook for my channel. And so you do not have to join the event. That is just going to be in there so I don't have to worry about setting up another Facebook because I'm already running the Josephine Wall event and can't really manage that many accounts. So I thought it would be just fine to go ahead and have that one in my Crafty Diamond. And one of my goals for this year is to make sure that I post more. So I also have a planner for that and I'm going to be posting at least twice a week in, and that's without an event. When I do have the event, I'll post more, but without having an event in there, just on a typical week, I am going to post at least twice a week in my account. 
are now changing colors to the bunny ears. It's really funny because this one has all dark colors and then of course the snowman has all really light colors and really light blues and whites and some creams. So it makes it kind of nice because I can work on this down here and then when I go upstairs then I'm working on something totally different um, color scheme. And this one's square, that one's round, which I didn't want to do all squares or all rounds. I noticed when I was going through and making my video for last year, for my year review, I didn't realize when I was doing any of my paintings, really, that I was doing mostly rounds. It did not even dawn on me. And then when I started to do my review, I'm like, wait a minute, I cannot believe that I just didn't do hardly any squares. But I do have a lot of squares in my whips, my work in progress. I have 11, I believe, and 12 if you count the cross stitch conversion. So a lot of those are square. So that may mean that this year the table is, will be flipped and I will be doing more square than rounds. But I'm not trying to do one or the other. I am not trying to, to really focus on doing just squares now that I've been doing so many rounds. It just happened to be the kit that I wanted to work on and that you know I had chosen to complete and it just happened to be round. And yeah, I am faster with rounds, but that really didn't even play into it at all. It was just the type of kit, what I wanted to work on, I didn't even look to see, okay, is this a round or is this a square? When I first started working on it, I just started working on it. So I thought that was kind of funny. And I think I have more squares in my stash than round, which I thought was even more funny because you would think if I had more in my stash that were squares, I'd be working on the squares. But a lot of my squares are larger, so maybe that's why that it just happened to come up as rounds. I don't have anything planned for February to go anywhere. I don't have anything that, you know, we're doing. We haven't made any plans as a family. We usually don't go in February except for Night to Shine. And that's a big one. And that's going to be, I think it's the third Friday in February. So we have to go shopping for that soon. I'll take Paige shopping. She'll try on a dozen dresses and then we'll find one that she really likes, which will be the first one that she tries on. It happens every time. But her sister's the same way. She'll try on a bunch of clothes from different shops and then she'll want to go back to the first shop, which of course isn't close to the last shop that we were shopping at. But we will start thinking about that. But that's just, you know, one night. It's on a Friday night. So that's not the entire weekend. I am going out of town in March for four days with my best friend. I got to start thinking about that too, on how to pack, what to take. It's going to be a very long day on the first day because I have to get up super early to get to her house in time for us to get on the road and then to be able to drive about five hours or so in order to go to this retreat that we're going on in Georgia. And I'm looking forward to that. I gotta figure out what we're supposed to take with us, make sure I have everything. They haven't come out yet 
with an agenda or suggestions or anything like that. So I need to have an eye out on that one. I doubt that weekend that I will diamond paint. So I need to think about that too. Probably go ahead and have quite it done before then, especially on if I have any videos to go out. But I will probably have dime painting withdrawals by the time I get home. So I'm used to dime painting at least every day, even if it's something you know, really small. I may do a very small section or, you know, I might just do a paint gym mini or, you know, something like that. But I'm, usually I dime paint almost every single day. So to go four days, that may be a little rough. But the retreat's gonna keep us really busy and it's not, it's a very specific retreat. So it's not something you can just decide you can take whatever you want to. But that'll be fun, something to look forward to. And then I won't have anything until I'll have June. And that will be the retreat in Michigan. Well, Ohio, we have to, say in Ohio, we have to fly to Michigan. I have my plane ticket for that already. That's all set up. I think we've decided that we're going to rent a car this time instead of having a car service. There's going to be three of us that's going to share the expense in the car and to ride together. So that will be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to the retreat. If any of you are going to the Great Lakes retreat, let me know. This will be my second year to go. So I'm really excited about going again. I was real nervous this time last year, but after I went, it's like there's nothing to be nervous about. It is just so much fun. I met so many amazing people. And it's fun to put a name or a face to a name, I guess you could say. My dog is starting to snore. She is sleeping more and more. She's active still, but she's just sleeping quite a bit. Kind of worries me a little bit, but she seems healthy. And of course I missed, I missed it right there. I had the color I was just on, I have five symbols that I missed right here, right in front of me. That's the sad part, it's not far away, it's right in front of me. Let's see, as far as what you guys can expect for next week or this upcoming week. I do have a video going out on Thursday and that one is going to be a kitting down. I have three kits from last year I need to kit down and then my video on Saturday is going to be organizing my massive cross stitch conversion diamonds. I'm gonna to need to order some drills. So I need to go through and see what drills exactly that I need. And so that's going to take up Saturdays. And then the following week, I have an unboxing for you guys. So I have several videos that I do have planned that I need to do. I don't have any small shop hauls. I did receive one pin yesterday. And I'm gonna show you next week that pin. I don't plan on ordering anything for any other small shops um, for now. So, and I don't wanna wait a couple of months before I can start using my pen. So I'll just show you that one on my next week's Whip and Chat. Hope you enjoyed today's Whip and Chat. It is a little bit shorter than usual, but today is just a crazy day with the start of the semester. I always have to be on call and I'm afraid if I stay gone for very long, then I'm gonna have a boatload of emails that I will have to go through. 
and that makes it even more um, complicated. We're supposed to respond as soon as possible on the first week of school or the first few days. So the first day is always crazy. If you like this video, please click on the like button. That really does help to get my videos out. Also, if you liked this content, then check out my year in review if you have not done so already. I will also include that underneath the description. You can see what all I did get accomplished last year. And if you want to see those 12 whips that I do have, I'm working on rotations on those, then you can check with my Christmas premiere. And I showed my craft room along with those 12 kits. Thanks so much for joining me today. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.